So today we're going to talk about the real meaning of the word diet and why I have an issue with people saying that diets don't work. So pretty recently, there's been a few things doing around on social media, YouTube, Instagram, wherever, that diets don't work and they've thrown around this statistic that I think it's like 95% of people either fail on the diet or if they do lose weight, regain it again within a year or two years, if not more weight than, than when they first started. Now, this doesn't mean that diets don't work and this, this is my gripe with it, that it's almost suggesting to people that there's no point in your diet and there's no point in you trying to lose weight because you're never gonna be able to succeed at it and if you do, you're never gonna be able to manage to keep it off. And that's not right for other people to be able to put their views on you like that. Because diets do work, if you manage to restrict your calories, you restrict, you, you build that calorie deficit consistently for a period of time, you can lose weight. So they do work, but it's a case that maintaining weight and being able to maintain that size that you've got down to is often harder than losing weight in the first place. So it's not that diets don't actually work, it's probably just that maintaining the weight afterwards needs a bit of effort and you have to put some things in place to be able to like maintain that new size you've got down to. Most people normally go into a diet and think, right, I want some quick results. They go to some extremes, so they might start, I don't know, they might go vegan, they might go keto, they might start doing intermittent fasting, slimming well, weight watchers, whatever it is, they generally go for like a system diet. So it's like has rules to follow, it's dead easy or dead simple in terms of the rules, but it's very restrictive, so they'll do it for a period of time and then if they're successful, they get to the end of it, they've reached their goal size or their goal weight, they then their brain's going, God, I can't wait to get to the end of it. As soon as they get to the end of it, they're then like, brilliant, I can go back to what I was doing before. And so suddenly they're maybe not exercising as much, they go away from that diet and that method of eating that got them in shape, and suddenly they're going back to eating high calorie foods all over the place, they're not controlling anything, they're not tracking how much they're eating, their calorie intake goes through the roof again, and then suddenly they're piling on the pounds again. That's why people can't maintain weight and that's why people think diets don't work. If we go in the dictionary and we look at the actual definition of the word diet, it's the foods that a person, an animal or a community habitually eat. So for a short period of time, people will change their daily diet, the foods that they habitually eat. The problem is they then break those habits as soon as they get to their goal size again or they can't put those habits in place long enough to be able to lose a significant amount of weight or change the body shape, the way they look. So they don't, they never get to where they want to do, so then they have that idea that diets don't work. So we're going to look at this again, and we're going to go into the deeper reason of how you actually put in habits in place to be able to maintain your daily diet and change it now and into the future. So today we're going to follow up on what we spoke about last time on why diets do work and how it's actually harder sometimes to keep the weight off than it is to actually lose weight and get in shape in the first place. So if you remember last time we spoke, I was going on a bit of a rant how people have been forcing ideas out there that diets don't work and using kind of misguided stats into suggesting that there's probably no point in dieting and not to diet um, because you're never going to either stick to it and be successful or even if you are, you're probably going to regain the weight again. So one of the key things I spoke about in that was that you have to put habits in place. So that the definition of the word diet are the foods that you habitually eat. So the foods that you're eating on a daily basis now and well into the future. And so that might give you clues to if you're, if you're not in shape, why you're not, because the foods you, you're habitually eating maybe are high calorie, they're maybe heavily processed, they're maybe not containing enough nutrients and therefore your body's not in a calorie deficit, you're in a probably calorie surplus you're eating more calories than you're burning off through exercise and activity, and so you're gaining weight. A diet is just the flip side of that, so it's putting some things in place. Usually, like we said about, it's people choosing a system, so whether they go vegan, or they go keto, or they go uh, and do Weight Watchers, or Slimming World, or whatever it is, they follow this system for a period of time that allows them to go into a calorie deficit, but it's in a case of whether they can sustain that or not. And no, you can do any of these ways if you want. I'm not saying they're right or wrong, but it's a case of does it work for you? Can you maintain that way of eating now and into the future as well? So that's probably a good question to ask yourself. If you can see yourself eating the way you are on your diet five, 10 years down the line, 
then it's probably a good thing for you to keep doing because you can put habits in place, you can put like daily routines, so around exercise, around food prep, around the things that you do daily and weekly to make sure that you're able to eat that way now and well into the future as well so that you can lose the weight and then be able to maintain it. Now for me, this is why I don't like system diets because they're very, very restrictive and that's hard to stick to for a long period of time. For me, I like to go out the weekend with my friends, I like to have a few drinks, I like to go out for a meal with my wife. So I, I have to be able to work those things into my diet. So that's even if I want to get leaner, if I want to look better for a holiday or something like that, then you know I, I have to be able to work those things in still, or you know certainly in the long term, if I want to be able to maintain the way that I look. I will have to be able to go out for a weekend, have a couple of drinks or have a few beers or have a pizza or a nice meal, whatever it is, I have to work those things in. So somewhere else, I have to like, allow for those things. So it's a case of, can you see, so the things for you to remember are one, habits are key. So what foods are you eating habitually? Can you see yourself eating this way now? And then in three, five, 10 years time? And is your diet flexible? Does it allow you to live your life the way you wanna do it? If it is, then that diet's probably right for you.